All right, we are going to talk about how to hold our working yarn in our hands. And that might not seem like a big deal, but it is it is a big deal. So there are several ways you can hold your yarn. You do it how you're most comfortable, but it needs to do a couple of things. You need to, one, be able to grab the working yarn easily with your hook. And you also need to be able to hold and maintain some kind of tension. Um, tension is very important in, in crochet, so keeping an even tension um, takes practice. And this is, I'm going to show you how I do it. I believe I do it the traditional way, but who knows? I don't, I, this is how I've learned and this is how I'm going to show you. So what I do is I will take, I've got the slip knot already on my hook and then I'm going to take the working yarn and I am going to go on top of my pinky with the yarn and I'm going to go around it all the way so it completely circles my pinky. And then I'm going to pull the yarn up here and I'm going to take my pointer finger and I am going to go on top of that yarn and then I'm going to kind of wrap it around here. Now I like to take my thumb and my middle finger and I am going to hold the tail end of the yarn or I'm going to hold my project with these fingers, okay? So what this allows me to do is grab this yarn easily here and then with all of this down here, I'm able to create a tension that I can control and I can move my pinky to allow more yarn to come in or to tighten that down. So let's do that one more time. So I'm gonna start with my palm up on top of my pinky and all the way around. And then I'm gonna take my pointer finger and put that on top of the yarn. And then I'm gonna take my thumb and my middle finger and even the rest of the fingers and I'm gonna grab onto the project or the tail of the yarn. That way I can do this. I'm gonna show you one more time. I hope you enjoy crocheting. I'm so excited.